Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Um, what well, public service announcement? I'm gonna try to do three shows, um, three fights today and tomorrow, and then I'm gonna be gone Monday to Friday. My family and I go to Belize. We're gonna be in Belize for five days, so I'm not gonna be able to touch any of the fights. I can't get to any of the pro box cards. No immediate reaction. Uh, we're doing just the five shows, and um. We're going to do the three shows. So from Monday through Friday, I'm not going to give you any. Well, from Tuesday to Friday, I'm not going to give you any new content. Uh, we'll be back on Saturday. We'll do a new reaction Saturday, and then we'll be back up to normal. But I'm just if you are a Patreon, uh, you can you can contact me, and I'll give you updates. And if you want me to, to you still get the lock of the week and all that stuff, uh, I'll send that out to the Patreon. If you want to join the Patreon, the link is in the description. Just five dollars a month. Join me on the Patreon. Um, you get the lock of the week. You can ask me anything. Ask me a handicap of fight. I'll do it for you. you. Get a free T-shirt, all that, and a whole lot more perks for just five dollars a month. Uh, so join the Patreon. Uh, but we're gonna get into the Raymond Ford and Octobek. Uh, this this name, Octobek Kamaltov. Octobek Kamaltov. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. Uh, fight. Really interesting fight. I want I want to break down for you guys. Before you do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Follow me on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, also, please subscribe to the Patreon. The link is in the description. And uh, Texas Boxing Scene as well. Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, so let's get into this fight. Um, I have a lot of thoughts on this fight. I've gone back and forth. This is a very close fight. What I'm going to leave with is, is Raymond Ford has struggled in his career, and Otterbeck, despite his perfect record, has struggled in his career. Uh, what, 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 what's well documented is Raymond Ford's win over uh, Eddie Vasquez, which was certainly the robbery of the year, just a completely bogus decision in Arizona. Uh, Eddie got robbed, you know, five ways, you know, seven ways to Sunday, whatever, however that saying goes. Uh, he also has a draw in 2021 to Aaron Fadez. Aaron Fadez was undefeated at that point. Uh, but since then he lost to Diego Alexander, who is three, two, and three. He, he bounced back in 2023, uh, with a win over the veteran Rafael Reyes. Uh, but that's what like Raymond Ford is a good fighter with, with flaws and those flaws can be exposed. Otterbeck has a win, and it's a wide win. If you go back and watch Palmatov's best, biggest win of note, he's got two of them. One over Thomas Patrick Ward, he looks sensational in. The other is over Gregorian. Uh, Gregorian is a fighter who was 14-0 at that point. And he won the, the scores wide. Obviously, there was something wrong with the scoring there. The fight was very close. I thought Otterbeck won. Uh, Camel Top won, but it was very close. And if you look at what Camel Top has done, uh, I'm sorry, Gorian has done since then. And this is a guy that Camel Top struggled to beat. He uh, has a loss to a 3 0 oh, 3 fighter, a draw to a 1 2 and 1 fighter, and uh, got knocked out by uh, a prospect 16 and 1, Elnor Semedov. That's what he's done since. <coughs> and that guy gave. Camel top, life and death. This fight is really interesting. And like I said, both guys are good, but both guys are flawed. Raymond Ford obviously has tremendous speed. He's got, you know, the quick straight left. He sits down on his punches better now, but he's still a mover. Um, he's got a lightning quick jab. But he, his game is completely predicated upon speed. Without speed, he's got nothing. But his speed and his reflexes are phenomenal. You can hit him with the right hand, but... Kamaltov is also a southpaw. Uh, Raymond Ford is exclusively a headhunter. He does not go to the body much at all. You know, he, what he has is a tremendous athlete with a good jab. He's, he's extra twitchy. He's built on speed. He's so quick. His speed is phenomenal. That's really all there is to him. Now, that's gotten him this far, but if you can put pressure on him and attack him, you can have him. Kamaltov mixes up head and body well. 
he can come off the front foot. But he's a, what he's a master of is controlling distance. He's a master of controlling distance. He's really good at controlling range. He picks a shot. He goes to the body from long range. What's interesting, though, about this fight is that he usually has a reach advantage. That reach advantage is nullified because Raymond Ford is long, right? So he's not going to have that typical reach advantage. So I don't know if he can go to the body and can really control range because Raymond Ford is going to outquick him from distance. Right? Raymond Ford is so quick. Kamaltov is not. Um he, he, he said Kamaltov can fight off the front foot. Is that what he looks to do? Uh, Raymond Ford can fight coming and going too. He doesn't. It doesn't seem to like pressure. Kamaltov would rather fight at range, but can it, it's just there's so much to this fight. Like this is such a 50-50 fight. He's got good volume at times, Kamaltov, uh, but he will shell up. He gets a little wild, and he keeps his hand low. He can be hit. He keeps his lead hand low. He can be had in the pocket by a quicker fighter. Raymond Ford's a quicker fighter. He can fight from the outside. He can press forward. I don't know what he's going to do. My guess is he's going to, they're going to look at Ford. And they're going to try to press him because Eddie Vasquez put the pressure on him. And he didn't like it. Diego Magdaleno sat back a little more. And Diego Magdaleno got picked apart. This is a tough fight to bet. What I do like, and we're going to get into this. You know, the other thing I want to say about Kamaltov is, is he picks off shots. He, he catches and shoots. He picks off shots pretty well. Um, Raymond Ford's not a super high volume guy. Can Kamaltov catch and shoot and outwork him? There's a lot to this fight, right? And I, it, it really is a 50 50 fight. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to make money on this fight. Let's take a look. that pull up here's what we got here's how i'm betting this fight on the money line i'm only making half a bet i, I like the odds that are favoring raymond ford there's a 50 50 fight i'm getting slightly better odds i don't like the odds at minus 160 on camel tom i think that's too wide raymond ford pays me a little bit i'm gonna make half a bet my half a bet on raymond ford so a 50 dollar bet makes you 62 50 not bad, right? On a 50-50 fight. I'm also going to take the over. I love the over. I don't see how... Uh, neither guy is a puncher. I, I know Campbell to, uh, has a record of, of Toledo. If you go watch him, he's he picks his shots well, and that's how he scores knockouts. But I don't think he's a massive puncher. So I see this fight going the distance. I really do. Especially if you think Ford's going to win. Ford's not going to knock him out. Ford's not going to knock him out. Ford's going to get hit in the body. I mean, Ford's going to go the distance. Uh, the only way I can really see him getting – Ford can really get stopped is if Camel Tom scores something big to the body. More than likely, I would say with 90% certainty, this fight's going the distance. So I'm going to take Camel – I'm going to take Raymond Ford at half a bet. But I'm going to take the over on a two-times bet. A two-times bet, in this case, $200 – Makes me 114.28. So 114.28 and $62, uh, 62.50, whatever it is, it's going to make me bet $178 on a $250 bet. Really not bad. Um, on, on a 50 50 fight, and you got a little hedge there. This is a safe bet. This is what I'm taking. I think it makes a lot of sense because, like I said, I'm really not confident in either guy to win this fight. I've gone back and forth. I really can't pick a winner here. This is a really, really hard fight to bet the money line on. Where I think you make the money on is the over. I, I think this definitely goes over. I think that's your safest bet. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please join the Patreon. It's $5 a month to get the lock of the week. Remember, I'm going to be out of town, so I'm, I'm going to do three fights. I think I'm going to do the Eggington fight. And I'm going to do the uh, Lopez fight. And I think that's going to be it. If you have any other questions, join the Patreon. It's five dollars a month. You get the lock of the week. You can ask me anything. You can ask me a handicap or fight. You can get the lock of the week. So you can still make a ton of money this week, even when I'm on vacation. I'm going to be in Belize on the beach, but I will be responding. You know, just give me a little while, but I will respond to everything. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All uh, proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, it is February 24th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God.
Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.